Young people, a very good morning to all of you. Today we met with the architect. Trojan. Architect. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. It's now very special work. We are here in the metropolitan area of Guadalajara. Please tell us, architect, what we are going to see, because it is a house there who can't imagine what they will see inside. Well, welcome. This is my home. We made it. We already have with her. Six months. It was a process of approximately 11 months, and we have achieved very interesting things that you will be able to see throughout the video, and, well, what better way to get to know it? Go ahead. Thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about the land, because it is striking that it is a house of quite a e lot of square meters of construction in relation to the square meters of, of the land. How much does solar orientation measure? Land of 250 meters, 10 by 25, 10 meters in front, by 25 meters deep. We have to leave a lateral easement of a subway. North-south orientation and meters of construction. 550 meters. Notice. I mean, it's a relatively small lot, right? Yes. Yes, the lot is not that big, so along the tour you will see how we were using the areas. Maximizing the spaces, a full basement, and upstairs, a couple of additional surprises. Where do we get to? We are entering. We are going in. On the first floor. Notice how he plays with the topography. Because if you look at the terrain, as relatively flat with a change of level of 1 meter 10, but the architect raises the house and quite a lot. 1 meter 80, meter 90. And now you will see why. We enter. You already know it. As citizens, as his work. Fingerprint, veneer dot, dot. Now we can apply the opening with fingerprint, and we start with an intelligent system. We bring the whole line of smart accessories in lighting, in curtains. We can connect Alexia or Google Home, all that. So, welcome. Let's look at the access spot first. When we were doing the house, it was important to be able to be. I always come home and, as you can imagine, my shoes are very dirty, so we change our shoes. and We change with our indoor shoes, so this is a comfortable space. We have coats, jackets, etc., don't we? Kids come in and throw backpacks. Right now we have a little three-year-old, so... Coming home from kindergarten. Yes, coming home from kindergarten, he throws them in there. And, well, these spaces became essential for us to maintain. Order and be more comfortable. That is the purpose. I invite you to know my son's studio. It's a study. Hey, where you have all your games. Hey. You will notice that also, as his dad is very fond of the subject of construction, he likes to go to work with that. And to work with that, say, well, with dad. Greetings to Good Lippi. Well, say Good Lippi. Hey, that's great. So this is space. Well, for him, it's his play area. But it also has a full bathroom, right? In it, in case it could function as a bedroom. Hey, that's great. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we have to think about that. A future theme that could serve as a bedroom with its own bathroom. The dimensions really gave us, so why not do it? Hey, eh? Excellent. Well, let's take a quick look at it. Hey, the woodwork is very nice. You were telling me it's walnut, right? Walnut, all solid wood. The wood is solid. You can feel the weight. No. Yes, this carpentry is very different from what we normally work on other houses. Very nice floors here. The floors we're looking at are porcelain tile, right? Porcelain tile, but it's a jumbo size of about 60 to 80 plus an inch. It's a... It's a satin porcelain tile. It is neither matte nor glossy, it is satin. Here we will be able to appreciate it a little better. And look, I really like this. The entrance is quite wide, that is, in the 9 meters that the lot has, we are going to say that it takes about 3.5, right? That's correct. But first access. It is correct. It is a fairly wide hallway. What format is the floor? About 60, the corridor, more or less, is going to bring about 80. An 80. So the next axis, let's see what it becomes. But the punchline, the punchline is great. This 1.8 that we have between the walls allows us to feel that it is not a corridor, but a corridor, a distributor that is full of light and art. This painting is very nice, too.
Then comes the large window. It gives a lot of light to the space. In conjugation, also with the whites. Here you went for the whites. Here we left the house completely black. We wanted a clean color that would give us that spaciousness then. We have mixtures between high brightness in mates and obviously the floor. In white color, it goes very well with a carpentry theme. I think we make a very good combination. Walnut carpentry in doors and Salem carpentry in stairs. This space turned out great. That is, to feel that emptiness connected to the window with a tree left there. Also bringing the outside in. Feels very good. It gives you a feeling that the house is very big. And here is when you start to play with the terrain. That is, this is done by an architect. And I was eating. Understanding the topography and playing with excavations or infills to achieve these environments, right? I, I think it was also important to play a bit with, with the double heights, wasn't it? The fact that we decided that our living room would go downstairs but would be somewhat incorporated through this double height. It's something we were looking for a lot. Notice where the dining room is. In the nine meters wide, a stair space is left, a void space is left, and there are for the tree. And the three meters, the same set of the axis? It is correct. It is correct. Yes, that is um, correct. And you have there a small spot of from. It's, uh, it's for the coffee for the morning coffee. It's for coffee. This space looked great. Now we are going downstairs, and the stairs are also integrated. So this house feels again like these new lofts where you have the kitchen as part of the living room. From the center of the house, this big heart. We strongly believe that one of the areas where the coexistence takes place is the kitchen. So we gave up a lot of importance to the kitchen area. Dot, we made a three meter deck almost. And then we added a breakfast area so that everything would be integrated. The reason why we left it out of the. And when I need to be specific was to not have any cuts in the quartz plate. We use a pure white quartz. So we didn't want to have any cuts in the quartz plate. So that's why we leave it like this. And this from the breakfast room. It works super well. We practically use more. This breakfast room than the dining room as such. The dining room is seen as an ornament, as a decorative element. Uh, so it's very nice, but should not be touched. And the view has is, is obviously good enough that we are now going to discover that there's a pool down there. Let's go down if you like. Shall we go? It is great. And the bamboo theme, I think you were telling me that you thought about it very well to have this. Green finish, right? Yeah, I wanted. We like green, so it was important to be able to integrate it, but to make it feel somehow subtle. And we put in a Japanese bamboo, which is the bamboo with the thin little trunk. And then a very high bend. What you create at the bottom is super comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Notice there's another staircase. I always recommend to students that it is the same staircase that takes you from the first floor to the first floor. But in this case, the combination that is achieved through this set of two staircases spatially is quite good. A look at how it comes down in an L, and you can see how it goes up. The one that takes you upstairs. And here we come to, to the second social area. Ah, uh, yes. Second social area is a living room. We also wanted the room to be a good size, so we incorporated a small one. As a half bath in that part. Yeah. We mix wood with beam, for example, then. For these stairs we made. So. It's detailed with beam. Well, which feels pretty good, too. It's pretty solid. I thought the stairs were only recessed. But the beam gives you... It gives it that rigidity, that stability, that is also quite fortunate. Uh, yes. And here we come to the living room that has a bersito. That is, you change the traditional areas, right? From the traditional kitchen to the traditional dining room. Here, the dining room has its own space. The kitchen has a space as a, the articulator, it welcomes you, it takes you upstairs, but then you have the living room, which, if you have the a visitor, you are more separated from the bedroom area. Yeah, plus you can enjoy more, right? 
you can really have that coexistence in a much more comfortable place and take advantage of what? That we left the windows completely open for the garden area. This room that at the end of the day becomes the TV room, which I also believe that, that that's one use instead of having a TV room and instead of having a living room, you mix it up, right? And the pool was, it was refreshing. We just finished this pool last week. This is the last thing we are adding in this house. Really, if we were looking to be able to do the pool, A, and well, finally we got it, it's done. A, ready, ready to use it. And from down here also, the bamboos give you, give a sense of freshness to the space as well. That is, I wish they were feeling it, but it feels quite temperate. Plus privacy, lots and lots of privacy. Because we don't have the height issue helps us a lot with that privacy. How much back restraint did you have? Three meters. We left 4.8. That's pretty cool too. Yes, we left a little bit more. And it doesn't feel inside? That is, it doesn't feel. Do not feel sacrificed. Sacrificed. In the end, I think it turned out very well. Do not feel sacrificed. The finish, please. We put a stone in it. It's called ballaston. It's a stone made from a mineral. Silite. A very kind mineral. And has different filtering systems. One filtering through ozone. A filtering with a generator of chlorine. And the sand filtering is also based on silite. This helps us to have practically 100% filtered. The pool, including four. For newborn babies could use it. You see that the ozone issue is important there. So that is the purpose of this pool. Excellent. And where do you have the machine room? We left on this side, taking advantage of the corridor that could not be used. The heating of the swimming pool. Ah. And everything else is in the back, as I told you at the beginning, we already had the idea of building the pool. So we did all the doctor's work from the construction site. Okay. Now let's get to know that machine room. That machine room? This is the chimney effect. I always talk about trying to extend the slabs after the glass cloth. Obviously, here you had height restrictions, so you couldn't go up these perimeter walls very much either. No, we couldn't go much higher. The heights of the walls. The play of white on the beams, on the aluminum windows, on the wall, and even also in these coatings used on facades. Gives it a body, that's very, very nice to, to the piece. The little bar also with the same, with the same intention of these whites in the courts, in the cabinets. Another piece of hallway furniture. As I was saying, these hallway furniture are important for us. We enter and then, then we arrive at. Once to the change of shoes. It's great. Look at the gigantic door. I hadn't noticed this. It's a two meter door. I think it's around two dollars twenty cents, give or take. Two twenty cents? Yes. Two hundred and twenty? Yes. Look. Well, more. here we have the laser that we were given as a gift. In some of these bags, I will say to see what it says there. It says 2.4. 2.4. 240 and 240 door, obviously, with a steel frame. Steel frame, solid wood. Notice that, for example, the solid wood was very difficult to find because look at the size of the... Other words, right? On this side, they appreciate them more. <laughs> it was super complicated. Let's see if it's big enough. This is the machine room. It has good distance, but it works well. You have the heater close. Ah, this is the filter. That is the filter. If it is correct, filter your pump and the different devices. Right? All automated. Ah, this is the ozone generator. <laughs> uh, it's very quiet too, isn't it? Yes. Very comfortable. We left these closets. So we can say, you know, uh, a thousand things that we have in there. This is the garage. It fits three cars without problem. Bicycle area. My son's wheelbarrow that I already broke. And we have a service area here. We are going to have another one in the kitchen. We leave us two areas. And where in the kitchen? Ah, 
It's not next to it, next to it. Ah. Ah. Yeah, so we need one service area at the bottom and one at the top. Okay, okay, okay. There are a thousand things anyway. Excellent. Here, you don't have the boiler. <laughs> Good, honey. You have everything inside the house. You don't have to go out. You don't get wet or anything. Exactly. Exactly. Also take advantage of that subway that is the subway of lateral restraint. That's right, we were able to take advantage of it, so it was very comfortable. Uh, Must have fit a closet in there. Uh, Excellent. I also like it because it's one of these things that we have to think about both as architects and as future owners or future owners of systems, right? Yeah, the door works very well. It is a single one. It's a single sliding piece. And hides behind the wall. And hides behind the wall. The Merrick engine. Look down to the canal. It says that we have to pay attention to. Is how far it goes. I'm sure any architecture student would design it to the bottom. And it also has a lock there. It is perfect. Always considered. Try that these mountain ranges are very good, right? Uh, very good, of course. Uh, that the base doesn't get blown up and all that. Yes. Are comfortable, we manage to have all the space free. To make it feel even more spacious, even in the garage. Oh. And look at the entrance. That is, the garage entrance is as important as the main entrance on the first floor because this is practically the one that will be used the most by the family. So, look at all the light that it has in this soto. Because it's a basement, a crawl space. It's a full basement. But it's full of light, so... We leave this side glass that also helps a lot. Of course. Sure, if you guys could have filled all this out. Do you agree? Yes, but... We wanted that light. We didn't want it to feel like a bunker. We just wanted to feel like a bunker. But really as a comfortable social area. The little stool we were talking about. All this furniture that also... It can be for coats, for shoes. And we are greeted by this little tree. What tree is it? Is it a stripe? The ceiling is lined with this engineered state. Isn't it walnut wood? Here. It's not engineering. It's a triple I. Oh, okay. But it's a triple A and looks pretty good, huh? It's a triple A that we had brought from Mexico. It's not just any AA. Well, very good finishing. Great. And this is the bathroom. Well, this is a guest bathroom. Get to know it quickly. Okay. Okay. Oh, with their smart mirrors is that it looks very elegant porcelain tile on the white wall, sink, countertop, furniture. Ah, no, it's not a full bathroom. It looked like it, but no. Here you have a low wall that I don't know what it hides, but it looks great. With its extractor fan, a lamp is white there too. That white with the wood gives a very elegant contrast to everything. All right, now let's go up. Let's get to know the room area. So I think, I think, I think the video is going to end here. Very good. The first part, so saying goodbye. It's cool, huh? And this is the key. It's south, so you have light all day. All day, exactly. Yes. Yes. All day, exactly. It takes advantage of it very well, but it also blew enough. I mean, you blew it there. How much? Is it like a meter? No, it has a little more 130. A little more 130. So that 130, now that winter is coming, the sun is going to start coming in, right? Inclined. And you are going to protect it. That you also have some nice automatic curtains 
as I can see there.